under the head algorithm classifications we are going to discuss our next type of algorithm that is dynamic programming so under this dynamic programming we are having so many classical problems so many algorithms we are having so let us discuss what are the features of dynamic programming a dynamic programming algorithm remembers the past results and use them to find the new results so that is one of the very important and basic feature of dynamic programming and it is mainly used for the optimization problems where we will be doing this algorithm execution where the past results will be used to frame up the new results it is mainly used for optimization problems multiple solutions exist need to find out the best one so multiple solutions might be there so we should go for the best one which is suitable in accordance with the constraint of the problem it requires optimal substructure and overlapping sub problems optimal solution contains optimal solutions to the sub problems the sub problems will have the optimum solutions and those solutions will be used to get the solution towards the problem optimal solution towards the problem overlapping sub problems solutions to the sub problems can be stored and reused in the bottom up fashion here you see here the problem will be divided into sub problems so you are getting a flavor of divide and conquer but in case of divide and conquer those sub problems it is not mandatory that they will be overlapping so there is a basic difference between divide and conquer and this dynamic programming so here solutions to the sub problems can be stored and be reused in the bottom up fashion so the problem the solution towards the sub problem will be used to find out the problem for to find out the solution of the main problem so this is one example here we are trying to calculate the fibonacci numbers so to find the nth fibonacci number of the fibonacci series if n is 0 or 1 return 1 that means we know that at the 0th place or at the first place we will be having the fibonacci digit as fibonacci number as 1 so that will be returned otherwise compute or look in a table where the past results were stored this particular table so compute or look up in a table for fibonacci n minus 1 and fibonacci n minus 2 so either you shall compute if the value is not present in the table otherwise you can get it from the table find the sum of these two numbers and store the result in a table and return it for the later usage so in this way the solution which will be obtained in the sub problem will be used by the by the problem which has called this particular sub problem so previous result will be used to deduce the next current result so that is the basic theme behind this dynamic programming i think you are getting this idea what are the features of dynamic programming and one sample example thanks for watching this video